Hello everyone, welcome back to First Velo. My name is Ashok. In previous video, we have covered how to implement client side and server side pagination in LWC with and without data table. If you haven't watched that video yet and you are interested in implementing any of these scenarios such as client side pagination or server side pagination with or without a data table, then I would highly recommend you to watch that video first. Link is available in the description below. And today in this video, we will see how to do sorting with pagination in LWC. Here we will explore how to enable sorting along with pagination in LWC with both client side and server side approaches. Additionally, I'll share code files with you so you can easily implement these features in your own applications and work more efficiently. Alright? Now let me show you what we will build by end of this video. So you can set your expectations accordingly. I have already prepared a demo in my another org. So let me walk you through that. Well, this whole structure and pagination I have covered in previous video. And for this demo, I have added sorting functionality to the lightning data table on top of previous implementation and adjusted the pagination logic to display data according to the sorting. So first let's start with client side pagination. In this demo, you will notice that data initially appears without any specific sorting. However, when you will hover a column header, then you will see a ascending sorting icon. Now, once on clicking this column header, you will see data sorted in ascending order based on that column. For example, if you'll click on the name column, then you will see sorted data alphabetically in ascending order. Like, first we can see Ajay, Andy, Arthur, and so on. Also, we can see sorting icon here and once we'll click again, then sorting order will change to descending. Like now you can see data in descending order by name. Alright, here I have few other columns as well like email, phone, gender and created date. And I have enabled sorting on these columns as well. So similarly, if we'll click on email column, then data will be sorted by email in ascending order. Here we don't have email with many contacts. So first blank email records are coming, but once we'll click on next button, then here you can see data in ascending order. And once we'll click again, then you can see data in descending order. Same behavior you will find with phone, gender and created date fields as well. Okay. So this is how sorting is working with client side pagination. And now Let's switch over server side pagination. Here also you can notice that data initially comes without any specific sorting. But once you'll click on name column, then you can see records in ascending order by name field. And once you'll click on next button, then we can see next set of records here in same sorting order. Okay. Next field we have type. This is a pick list field. You can see here is also sorting is working fine. And now Let's talk about rating field, which is also a pick list field. However, most of the rating records have a blank value. When sorting in ascending order, then blank values appears first. But when switching to descending order, then you might notice that records doesn't appear in the expected order. This might seems like sorting is not working properly for rating field. I mean, here first we can see records which start with C, then W, then again with H. Right, it means sorting is not working alphabetically for rating field. But do you really think sorting is not properly working here? No, sorting is working fine here. But the thing is, this is a picklist field, and picklist values are sort based on their order on the field setup page. Let me show you. So here in object manager, you can see items in this order. First we have hot, then warm, then cold. And as we will use the same order in the select query. So now if we try to sort data in descending order, then first we will see cold, then warm, and then finally hot. Okay. So in that cell with a pick list field, sorting doesn't work alphabetically. Sorting works based on the order of pick list values. Alright, 
It means our sorting is working fine with picklist field. Next we have employees field which has number data type. So you can see sorting is working fine in ascending order and also in descending order. And at last we have data date column. This is a date time field. And here also you can see ascending and descending both type of sorting is working fine. All right. So this is how sorting is properly working with the server side pagination as well. Now let me show you how you can implement sorting in your application. Here we will be using same project which we created in pagination video. So if you have already watched that video, then you must know what all components we have created there. In this project, we have created five components, but for now, here we will only work on this client side pagination and server side pagination with data table. Here we will not work on other components because we only want to implement sorting in these two. Okay. And in these components, pagination logic we have already written in previous video and pagination is working fine. Let me show you in org. Here you can see this is a client side pagination component. At the bottom, here we have pagination strip and everything is working fine like next, previous and page size change. Okay. And in this server side pagination component as well, here you can see pagination strip and pagination is working fine. But here we don't have sorting option enabled yet. So now let's see how we can implement sorting here in these components. And we will complete this requirement in two steps, where in first step, we will see how we can enable sorting with lightning data table and then we will see how to implement sorting logic to sort data as per user selection okay now first let's see how to enable sorting with lightning data table and let's start with client side pagination component here to show data table we have added this basic html markup i mean here we have used lightning data table with data and columns attribute so whatever columns we want to show in this data table that details we have to pass in this columns attribute and here we are passing this columns property and in js file here we are defining columns configuration now in order to enable sorting with column we have to add sortable property with true as value so with whichever column you want to enable sorting you have to add that property for example Let's say if you want to enable sorting with name field, then here you have to add sortable with true as value like this. Okay. Now you will see sorting icon with name column. And if you want to make all columns sortable, then you have to add this property with each column like, like this. Now sorting will be enabled on all the columns. Okay. Now let me deploy this component and show you what happens. All right. Now we can see sorting icon with each column, but upon clicking, nothing is happening. Why? Because as of now, we just enable sorting with columns, which means we have completed only first step. Now let's work on second step to apply sorting on data table. And for that, first let's add two additional attributes sorted by and sorted direction along with onsort event listener. I have uploaded sample code and will give link in video description. So if you don't want to write everything from scratch, then you can download and use that code. And once you'll download and unzip, then here you will find two folders, classes and LWC. Let me open this as well in VS code. So we can easily copy code from there. Let's enter CMD here and here enter code and note and press enter. Now here in LWC folder, you can see five components, same as we have in our demo project. And in classes folder, you will see pagination demo controller. Okay. Now let's open client side pagination component HTML file. And now here you can see we have written HTML markup to show loader. And this is for data table. This one is for pagination strip. And this is for no record found text. Okay. Now, if you are building component from scratch, 
then you can copy and use this whole markup else you can take a specific section and in our current case we have everything there in our component but we only want to add few more properties with data table related to sorting so let's copy them from here and paste here with data table markup okay here we have added these two attributes sorted by and sorted direction along with this on sort event listener with the sorted by attribute we have to define column on which we are applying sorting and in which order data should sort that we can define using this sorted direction attribute and this on sort event listener will trigger when user click on a column where sorting is enabled okay and now let's proceed to create these properties and this handler method or if you want you can copy from downloaded code as well here i'll copy from downloaded code all right so here what we have done first we have created these two properties without any initial value and you know we are passing these properties here so if you want to set default sorting order on your data table then you can assign default value to these properties for example let's say your requirement is to initially show data in ascending order by name field then you can assign name into sorted by and ase in sort direction and then here we have created handler method and in this event.detail property we will get field name on which user clicked and also sort direction okay so this is how we are reading and assigning value into these properties and then here we are calling sort data method which we have created here and passing field name and sort direction now this method will sort data based on provided inputs and here we have used javascript sort method to perform sorting and at last assigning sorted data into records property okay and if you are not able to understand this code then it's fine because this is a generic code for sorting in javascript and you can find it anywhere online or you can take it from my downloaded code as well okay and at last here we are setting page number to one so pagination will automatically reset and we'll see data from start i think we haven't passed this page number property to paginator so let's pass that here you can also take this code from here as well okay i think we are done with code changes so let's deploy and test it here let's click on name column all right now we can see data in ascending order by name and once we'll click again then you can see data in descending order right and now once i'll change page number then also data will come in sorted order let's click on next button okay and similarly it's working with other columns as well all right it means our sorting is working fine with client side pagination and now at high level let's understand how this is working so you know to enable sorting first you have to add sortable property with columns like here we have added and then we have to add these attributes with data table and now whenever user will click on a column then this on sort event listener will trigger and call this handler method okay and here we are reading values like on which column user clicked and what is the sort direction and passing these details into this method and then this method will sort data based on provided values okay so this is how sorting is working if we have whole data in javascript or we can say with client side pagination i mean you know in client side pagination we fetch whole data from server in a single go and now here we are sorting data in browser only using sort javascript method all right now let's move ahead and see how to do sorting with server side pagination this is the component for server side pagination 
Well, initial few steps will be same. Like we have to add sortable property as true with columns on which we want to enable sorting. Let's copy code from downloaded files. Here also we have server side component with same name. So let's open its JavaScript file and copy columns array. Okay. Now here you can see sortable property added with each column. And also here we have added two new columns just to cover more scenarios with different data types. And now let's copy and paste data table markup to add sorting attributes and event listener. All right, so what we have done here, first we have added these two properties and on sort event listener, same as client side pagination, then created these properties here in JavaScript file. And also we have created this handler method. Now this handler method will automatically get called on sorting chains. So similar to client side pagination, here we are reading values and assigning it to these properties and setting page number to one. And also we are assigning records property as empty because on sorting chains, we want to get data from scratch. Then at last, here we are calling fetch records from server method that is already created here. Inside this method, we are simply calling this apex method and passing pagination parameters. And now let's pass sorting parameters as well. Let's copy code from downloaded files. replace this whole method okay now with pagination parameters we are also passing sorting related details so from server we can fetch sorted data here we are passing sorted by as sort column name sort direction as sort order and we are also passing sorted last field value that we are calculating here i mean here first we are taking last record from records array and then using this code, getting sorted by field value. For example, if we sort data by name field and our page size is 10, then in this property, we will get 10th record name field value. Okay. So this is how we are passing sorting related details to apex method that we have already created here. Okay. As of now, this method is quite simple that supports server-side pagination without sorting. But now let's make required changes to implement sorting as well along with pagination. And let's copy code from downloaded files. Now it looks so complicated, right? So let's try to understand what this method is doing. First of all, here we are calling another method, convert filter value into field data type. This method will take a string value and convert it according to sortable field data type. I mean, here we are getting sorted last field value as a string, but you know, in data table, we may have columns with different data type, like this name is a string field, type and rating are picklist fields, employees number and created date is a date time field and user can apply sorting on any field, right? And in SQL query, we will use this field value to get next set of records. Now let's say if user try to do sorting on a date time field, then in SQL query, if we try to use this field value as a string, then we will get an exception. So inside this method, we have written logic to convert string value into field data type. Here as a input, we are taking object name, field name and field value. And using this piece of code, we are getting field data type. And then here we are converting value. I mean, if field data type is integer, 
then we are converting value into integer here into date time and this is for boolean and if you require you can add for more data types as well okay and then here is a best practice we are sanitizing a string parameter value to prevent sql injection using this sketch single quotes method and then here based on sort order we are storing relational operator like greater than or less than and this is our basic query we have so here you might need to make changes as per your actual requirement i mean in your case maybe you have to fetch data from another object or some different fields so that you have to write here okay now here we have three conditions which will execute based on input parameter values so if the last record id is not null and the sort column name is blank it means if we try to fetch data for next page without applying sorting then this condition will execute that's why here simply we have added where condition with id field and passing last record id and this second condition will execute when the last record value is not null or blank here we are using the sorted last field value to fetch next set of records and you can see here we are passing that converted value so we won't get type exception and the last condition will execute when we have applied sorting but sorted last field value is blank i'm not going to explain each where condition in detail you can easily understand them by just looking okay these conditions are not specific and you won't be able to find out them anywhere i just written them based on scenarios which i faced during demo preparation i mean when i started preparing demo for this video then while doing unit testing whatever scenarios i found i just written code here to cover them like when i tried to apply sorting on this rating field then you can see we don't have a rating value in the last record right and if we execute this condition with a blank last field value then we won't get correct data so whatever challenges i found during unit testing based on those i have prepared this code initially when i started working on this video at that moment i was thinking it would be quite simple but when i developed the demo then i realized this is literally not that much simple well after applying all the conditions here we have added order by and checking if sort column name is not blank then add that column name with sort order and order by id will always be there and here we have added limit keyword for pagination okay and here using database.query method we are executing our final query on database and fetching records and returning those records from here okay now i think we are done with code changes and inside this code i tried to cover most of the scenarios related to sorting and i hope this will cover your all the scenarios and if you found something which is not covered in this solution then first try to make changes here in this code by yourself and if still you face any issue then just send your use case on forcefellow email i'll try to implement that and update uploaded code so you can take from there okay now before deployment let's pass page number as well here in paginator and now let's deploy this component and apex class okay here once i clicked on this name column then you can see data sorted by name in ascending order and once i click again then you can see data in descending order and now let's try to click on next button all right now we can see next set of records and once we'll try to click on rating field then you can see rating is blank for all the records but still if we click on next button then you can see next set of records from 11 to 20 and to just verify correct data coming or not let's try to run sql query in inspector in this query we have added order by rating ascending and now once we'll click on run export then here you can see after 10th record next record is united oil and gas uk and in our data table also we have same record okay 
which means sorting is perfectly working with blank field values as well and similarly if we click on employees column then you can see sorted data based on employees and at last if we click on created date then here you can see records which created in 2021 and if we click on next button then you can see records which are created in 2022 and 2024 okay so this is how now sorting is perfectly working with server side pagination as well and i have uploaded this code and will provide link in video description so you can download from there and try same code though i try to cover possible scenarios but if you still face any challenge then do let me know in the comments or over email all right so that's all in this video if this video helped you to learn something new then please help me to by liking subscribing and sharing my youtube channel this will not take your much time and completely free for you and also don't forget to share your feedback in comments that will really give me motivation to create more such kind of videos for you once again thank you so much we'll see you in next video